is now 50%. Hopefully 100%, but I will sell for at least 50. They should have all of us. We should work around that. I think about 60%. 7 to 8% is decent. I think 10% is for Lesher. Yeah, it's a bit low. Between 12 and 15%. I think we should leave 60%. 50 50. It's, it's great. Setting aside 17% of the land and 10% of the ocean temperature is far too small. 25%, quite too small. All governments talking about. 17% of the land is going to avert an extinction crisis. And I haven't seen too many papers or too many uh, articles saying that 10% of the oceans and 17% of the land is going to provide us with the services we need to provide for future generations. So no, it's not based on science. Is it based on what the public wants? Well, we haven't asked the public what they want. So until now, we, we don't know what the public wants, although we've just conducted a survey and this will be discussed. For those of you who are at Aceh, you know that it was really based on what was politically feasible at the time and what we thought we might be able to achieve. But is this any way to avert an extinction crisis? Is this any way to plan for future generations? In this session, we will be talking about the latest science. In this session, we will be talking about what the public wants. And this figure here is actually a summary of what the public wants. We did a survey of people all over the world seven different countries, including countries like India, South Africa, China, and across the board, basically, people want 50% for nature, both in the oceans and on land. Then we're also asking the question is, why do they want this land protected? And when they're asked, they say it's to conserve species and ecosystems. But we also look at the values of ecosystem services or economic values, and we start doing some projections into the future. We start thinking about what would the world look like if we tried to conserve 50% for nature, which is what the public wants, and how that might look differently if we use different values in terms of biodiversity or ecosystem services or economic values. So I encourage you all to come to this session. It's extremely important. Our future depends on it. Thank you.